Hi, welcome to Edible Fruit Arrangements, aka Fruit Challenge Week. I'm excited for this week. I'm glad that you're following along with us. For our first day, we're going to be making a cupcake. So pause the video at any point in time that you need to, to catch up, get your supplies organized, or just take more time cutting. Then we will be using sharp knives to cut some of our fruits, so make sure you have a parent or guardian around to help you out as needed. To get our supplies ready, you're going to need one green apple, or if you choose to be different, that's fine. You could use another colored apple. There's all sorts of varieties you could use, but I'm, today I'm going to prefer to use a green apple. Go ahead and remove any of your stickers or other wrapping on your fruits. And for your apple, you may want to save the stem. It's going to add an extra special touch when we get to the end. I use bananas. I like my banana super sweet, even though I'm not a banana person. So I have an extra ripe banana for us today. Get your bottle of sprinkles out and one strawberry. So go ahead, wash your fruit off, get your supplies organized, and we'll get started. Got your supplies ready? Great. Let's get started. The first step that I'm going to do today is cut my banana. So let's go over some quick safety when we're dealing with cutting our fruits and vegetables. I always cut on a flat surface, which gives me the advantage where there's no chance of anything slipping out underneath me where my knife can potentially cut me. So I'll find a flat surface. You could do it sitting down on a table. You could do it standing up on a counter space. Whatever it is, cut on a um, flat surface. I prefer to cut on a cutting board. And my cutting board has got groove edges to ensure that my fruit isn't going to go anywhere when I begin cutting it. It's going to stay sturdy on my counter space. As you're moving to your flat surface location, you always want to be aware of how you're holding your knife. I was always taught to hold your knife downward so that if you fall, the worst thing you do is hurt a toe. All right, and you're just not going to stab you anywhere else. So always hold your knife downward, and as we're cutting, please make sure your parent or guardian is around so that um, they can assist you if needed. When I cut things, I always make sure one hand is always holding the object, and the other one is holding my knife, and I always keep an eye out on where my knife moves, okay? So you want to make sure all of your fingers are away from your cutting zone, and make sure you stay focused, all right? So if you have any distractions going on around you, you maybe need to turn those distractions off so you can pay attention and focus on what you're doing. So let's get started and cut that banana. All right, for our cupcake, we are going to start with our banana. And I'm going to go ahead and peel it. Remove all the skin off of it. Ooh, I can smell how ripe my banana is. Alrighty. So I've already washed my hands before touching my fruit. So make sure you go back and wash your hands if you haven't done so already. And I'm just going to take it and slice it into smooth, kind of thin slices. Make sure they're kind of even. And just slice away. You can go ahead and slice the whole banana. Make sure you wash those fingers. As you can tell, my hand is over here and I'm holding my object to make sure I'm not going to cut my fingers. Alrighty, there we go. Go ahead and finish your banana and pause the video if you need to. Alright, I have moved my banana slices to a separate plate that I'm going to come back to later. Now I'm going to take my apple and I'm going to remove all my stickers. And I'm going to go ahead and save my stem. So I'm going to twist it until it falls off. Alright. No more stem. And we're not going to use the whole banana apple. Excuse me. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to just slice it on the side. See? I have a nice little slide of an apple. Now I'm going to put this to the side, I'm going to take this slice, and I'm just going to cut into some strips. And you can go ahead and separate them, they don't have to be still attached to one another. And to make our um, cupcake look extra special, I'm going to make sure that they're kind of uniform. Are you watching your fingers as you're cutting? Oops, see, mine slid, so I need to hold on to it better. And there's no set count of how many strips you need. So go ahead and pause the video and catch up. 
Next, I'm going to take my strawberry, and I'm going to go ahead and move all of my leaf cap away. I could actually go ahead and take it off. I'm going to put that to the side. And all I'm going to want is, this is kind of, in a sense, going to be our cherry to our cupcake, all right? So I'm just going to take it, and I'm just going to slice one little bit, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this um, strawberry as I'm finished with it, all right? So you just need one little piece of your strawberry. All right, now we're ready to begin making our edible arrangement. So I have everything I need on my little plate here, and this is a perfect reason to play with your food. So I'm going to take my apple slices, kind of get them back in a nice little arrangement so it kind of looks like it's the, um, the foil that you would put into your cupcake tin where it's got the little indentions and the line marks. So that's what it kind of looks like. And then I'm going to use all my banana slices and fill in my little working space. And you can layer it like I'm doing so. Make it nice and uniform. Now I like a, a big fat cupcake. So I'm going to make sure it overflows a little bit. Because if I were making real cupcakes, that's what I would do. And I'm just layering my bananas. There's nothing like the smell of fresh fruit. All right. So I got my bananas. I'm going to put my little strawberry at the top. And I'm putting my stem at the top. And voila! We got a cupcake. Now to the sprinkles. Let me go grab my sprinkles. All right, I've got my sprinkles and I'm just gonna lightly coat the top of my cupcake. Ooh, this is actually making me crave a cupcake, but I'm gonna do better. And I am going to be eating my healthy cupcakes made out of a fruit. All right, this is my finished product. My little cupcake and, oh. My apples are falling. I guess I shouldn't tilt the plate. But there is my cupcake. As you can tell, I love a heavy over top cupcake. So that's why my bananas are lots of overfulling. And I'm going to put this down before I ruin my dessert. I would love to see your finished product. So comment on our Facebook post. Share your photos. Or email them to me at bridgepass at, at utk.edu. So I would love to see it. Please share um, Facebook post and share your finished product. I'd love to see how your cupcake turned out. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you for another day of edible fruit for our fruit arrangement week. Bye!